Hi, one and all. Uh, today, our topic is uh, signal decomposition through discrete uh, wavelet transform by using wavelet analyzer MATLAB app. So, to in order to uh, do this, we should have first of all we should have MATLAB, and we already wrote a uh, program for the pure uh, sine wave form with uh, harmonic with given harmonics up to seventh order. So we are taking a, a fundamental sine wave form and uh, we are giving also harmonics up to 7th order. After executing this program, we got a sine wave form here. We got a uh, with harmonics uh, uh, sine wave form. You can see here the, the signal here. And now here we are given named the signal as Y4. So your variable Y4 is your harmonic uh, signal. If I, ex if I plot this, you get the same figure here. So now first we have to save this variable. So before going to the app and before decomposing this Y4 signal, which is a harmonic signal, we have to save this uh, signal. So I am saving this right click and go and save with some name like harmonic uh, new and all. Uh, now we have to save this one. Um, just save it here okay after save the saving this one you can see here in matlab there are some tabs like home tab plot tab and uh, apps tab so click on the apps tab you will get you, you will see so many uh, apps here like optimization optimization app and uh, uh, signal and laser app and uh, some other different uh, apps here now go detail here just drag it on you can see different apps like machine learning and deep learning app and uh, control system design and analysis app but particularly we are interested about the signal processing and communications apps so in signal processing and communication app you, you can see here uh, particularly the wavelet analyzer app so this wavelet analyzer app is uh, our tool to decompose our signal through discrete wavelet transform so now click on the wavelet analyzer app here so you can analyze signals and images using wavelets by through by using this wavelet analyzer app just uh, click on that wavelet analyzer app you will get some dialog box which uh, you can see here file window and help uh, you can have different one dimensional two dimensional wavelet analyzer and three dimensional and multiple uh, one dimensional analyzer and some specialized tools uh, two dimensional and uh, specialized tools one dimensional analysis you can see here help if you click on help on the dialog box uh, you will get uh, uh, about the uh, different demos are also available here you can even learn more about this app in demos which was provided by the uh, MATLAB people you just uh, check on this also so now particularly we are most important uh, we are mostly uh, need the how to do the one dimensional discrete wavelet analysis so just click on wavelet 1D you will get a dialog box so first of all we have to uh, for uh, decomposing signal we have to load the signal so now file load and a signal now go to file load and signal so now you just uh, ex import the signal from where you have previously saved that harmonic new signal which is a y4 signal harmonic new signal so import the signal first and open so now you got the same uh, waveform here which you previously executed the code we have all loaded the signal here so in order to do the decomposition we have we have given different mother wavelets here and also we can give the levels here and the data size is around 400 you can see the different mother wavelets like Dabuchi, Simlet, Coiflet and uh, by BIOR and different mother wavelets are there you can choose one uh, wavelet uh, mother wavelet by here I am using uh, WG's mother wavelet and uh, levels also you can choose like 128 up to 128 
now I am choosing here around uh, four uh, levels. Now analyze, click on analyze, you will get the different uh, low frequency components and high frequency components here. So D1, D2, D3, 4, D3 and D4 are the detail coefficients which are the high frequency coefficients and uh, A4 is the approximate uh, coefficient. It is a low frequency components. Now the task is you have to uh, save the data of this D1, D2, D3 and D4. Uh, you have to get the variables. So in order to get these variables and here also you can check the tree mode also. So the tree mode analyzation, uh, analyzing of the uh, signal and you can see the show and uh, scroll display mode also. So these are the detail coefficient uh, diagram here. This was the superimposed mode. Now we will export the detail and approximate coefficients into the our workspace. So in order to do that, go to the file option here, click on file. So click on file export to workspace so you can export the signal coefficients and decomposition but we particularly am uh, interested in exporting the details and the approximation coefficients so export the detail coefficients click on export all details now change the variable name details details and uh, say it as ok now we have we will save the approximate coefficients so export where works export to workspace and enter variable name some uh, give some variable name like uh, approx approximate coefficients approx and okay now you can see the detail and approximate coefficients in our workspace here you can see here detail coefficients 4 into 4 into 400 double and approximate coefficients 4 into 400 double variables. So see here you can level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 you will get level 1, level 2, level 3 and level 4 levels. We have decomposed 4 levels and we got 4 detail coefficients. Similarly we will get the 4 approximate coefficients the 4 levels. So this is how we can uh, uh, export uh, the detail and approximate coefficients from the Wavelet Analyzer app. There is a, another uh, special thing is we can denoise the signal also here. So if you click on denoise, the original signal which you have seen the uh, red one was denoised into the purple color. So this one is the residuals, you can also check uh, residuals. Uh, so this one is the denoise signal. And you can also check it as the original signal also, we also compare with the original signal also. So this is the additional uh, task. You can even change the thresholding method also. So you can check the denoise signals here and you can also compare with the original signal. You can close it. So this is how we will export the detail and approximate coefficient and we can gather the uh, and also decompose the signal through discrete, uh, discrete wave transform. So this is the simplest method and thank you.